Hi, and welcome to my first Tekken video. Uh, I've been playing this for a while. Uh, as you can see, I've built quite a complex little factory right here. Um, this makes some high voltage solar panels. I'm sorry, it's high voltage solar arrays. And this is the end of the line right here where the high voltage solar arrays are kept. Now, I'm not, I've got everything turned off right now because it does cause a little bit of a lag, as you might imagine, because it's a large and complex operation. Got some switches here that turn off these timers that keep things going. Let's go ahead and turn things on. So I'm going to turn that guy on and that guy on. Whoops, I'm sorry. That should have been the other way. And that guy on. Okay. Now, what you see here is the first solar array got delivered up there. High voltage solar array. And if we look back here towards the beginning of the assembly line, you can see it's starting to move. Um, so let's start over here and see what we've done. You'll notice that this factory makes heavy use of retrievers. That's a retriever right there. And retrievulators, that's a retrievulator right there. This factory uses no timers whatsoever, except at the end, those two timers that you saw back there. And I'll explain that in a moment. Now let's go back here. So, first thing we have is a couple of machines. This is an extractor making rubber out of sticky resin. This is a macerator. And you see I have a little bit of a problem there with things going back in the wrong slots, but it seems to be fairly temporary. So this is coal, it's macerating coal into coal dust. And right here, this is a red matter furnace. It is making refined iron. And the nice thing about red matter furnaces is they actually triple the output. So you know, for each one of these iron ingots that we smelt in here, it puts out three over here. Very nice. Are kind of expensive though. Oh, it's getting dark. The monsters are really coming. Um, and let's move on down the line over here. Now, you might be wondering where I'm getting these raw materials. Now, uh, some of you will say I'm cheating. Because I'm using energy condensers and energy collectors. So down here, you will see a number of chests. These are energy collectors. There's some sticky resin. There's my iron ingots, there's gold, and so on. All of these materials are needed to make high voltage solar And down here, I've got some backups because some of the materials get drained too quickly for a single chest to handle it all. So I have some extra ones down here for iron and copper and coal, I believe, and I forget what this other one down here is. At any rate, um, that's where the raw materials are coming from. So, only the raw materials uh, are coming from these. Everything else is created after. Okay. So the backbone of this thing, let's go up here and have a look. Yes, I'm also using a flying ring. These are mag tubes. So most of the stuff gets carried down the mag tubes. Um, and these things are extremely fast why we use them. I would like to thank Professor Lott for some of the, a lot of the ideas in this, especially the mag tubes and this retriever retrievulator combination that you see just everywhere in this factory. It just works really brilliantly. Um, so now you can see this thing going full bore. So let's step over to the next little factory line here. You guys see a couple of them here. This guy's making insulated copper wire. You can see it coming out. These are automatic crafting table Mark IIs. And you can see them producing wire. And, uh, oh, and you'll notice that this red matter furnace requires an energy collector. That's a little piece of glowstone on top so that it works fine 
at night, as you can see. So, uh, on the next line here, you've got circuits being made. There's the circuits coming out of there. I sort of buffer everything in little chests, so you'll see this retriever pulling circuits out of the automatic crafting table, being controlled by that retrievulator, being placed in this chest here. And, oh, also, you'll notice that in order to go into the mag tubes, you have to have accelerators. And they actually have to be on both ends. They require power, blue electric power. So you have to make sure that they're powered. Uh, now, I'm told that they only need to be powered until they charge up once, and then you can actually disconnect the power, which is kind of interesting. Um, I haven't tried that. So you will see everywhere going in and out of the mag tubes, you have to have accelerators. First to accelerate the items into the tube, and then to decelerate them coming out. Okay. So let's go on over to the next step. Then you see that uh, this one here is making furnaces. Those are required to make generators. Those we'll see down the further in the line. You'll see these little battery boxes here. Those are storing blue electric power. And those need to be placed periodically. You notice you'll see them places in my factory. Um, those just make sure that the power is distributed evenly. Um, I believe that uh, blue electric power does tend to fall off over distance. I'm not sure how far that is. But you'll see these placed uh, at fairly regular intervals throughout my factory. Okay. Um, RE batteries you can see coming out here, those are needed to make generators. Machine blocks coming out, those are also needed to make generators. And then this line here is making generators. And you'll see those coming out periodically. Right now it appears it's waiting on something. Let's see what it might be waiting on. No, it's, it's coming out. You can see them coming out. All right, next. Finally, we get our first little solar panels. So these are low voltage, just solar panels. Now, realize it takes 512 of these to make one high voltage solar panel. So eight of these make a low voltage solar array. It takes eight low voltage solar arrays to make a medium voltage solar array and eight medium voltage solar arrays to make a high voltage solar array. So, all together you can see that you get, you need 512 of these, along with some other parts, in order to make the high voltage solar array. Alright, so then let's come on to the next step. Low voltage transformers. This is required to make elite low voltage solar arrays. And if we sit and wait here long enough, we might see one come out. Let's see if it's waiting on anything. No, it doesn't seem to be waiting on anything because nobody's asking for it. But, uh, there, oh, there you see a low voltage solar array coming out. Uh, and right now it is waiting on low voltage solar. I'm sorry, it's waiting on the solar panel. And it's coming out over there, so you should be able to see it make one. Oh, it's. Yep. There we go. There goes one up there. And I think one of those is produced about every 18 seconds. Next you have insulated gold cable being produced in this automatic crafting table. And next over here we have 2x insulated gold cable that's being produced. Those are needed for um, I believe medium voltage transformers. Next over here, we're making medium voltage transforms. Yeah, so you see there's those two exits in cables. And then over here, a finally a medium voltage solar array. And it's waiting on, obviously, low voltage solar arrays. Over here, we have another copper wire. So I found that it was necessary to have another station making copper wires because those were a bit of a bottleneck. And the uh, same thing over here, this one is making circuits. Now you'll see those occasionally come out. What I found it, uh, there was a bit of a bottleneck with those, and I believe it was the, I forget now what it was that was waiting on those. Oh, I think it was high voltage uh, transformers that were waiting on those, so I wasn't able to make those. So I put a set up a couple extra stations to do that. 
All right, and next let's go up to the next line. We have high voltage cable being produced here. And then you go on to the next station, and that high voltage cable is being 2 or rather 4x insulated. It seems like it should be 3x to me, but well, it's there. Again. Energy crystals being produced here. Now, um, there's a little bit of a trick you'll see further down the line that I also learned from Professor Lottie. I heartily recommend her videos. Um, you'll see this energy crystal, it does not stack, and that's a bit of a problem for retrievers and retrievulators. So you'll see how I say that. This guy here is, uh, oh, and this is where we run into the problem. See, there's the energy crystals there. This guy is making high voltage transformers. Now, there's a problem with using retrievulators on these. Um, they gently, uh, retrievulators like to request a stack of things. So it'll say, I want two of these, two of these, and two of these. And I will ask for them in these quantities. So until I get this many. So I'll ask, so I want four X insulated four, four X insulated high voltage cables. I'll ask for them two at a time. I want two medium voltage transformers. So I'll ask for them one at a time and two electronic circuits, and I'll ask for that one at a time. Um, this is the kind of the secret to this whole thing. It's the reason that you don't need any timers on any of these machines back here except for the, the end of the line down here. We'll talk about why those are there. Um, okay, so let's talk about what happens with... Now you notice this uh, recipe requires energy crystals, but that this retrievulator is not asking for them. Um, it's just because that just doesn't work. On items that don't stack, um, unless you only need one of them, that just doesn't work. So, what we're doing instead is we've got a little... Let's see, where did I do this? Oh, yeah, it's right. It's right here. So, you'll notice I've got another retriever sitting here. This retriever is asking for energy crystals, and you'll notice it's it it uh, they all end up in this row, and that's because um, because this is touching that side of the uh, automatic crafting table mark two. Um, it all, that all goes onto one row. Each side of this automatic crafting table, um, uh, if you put a pipe into it, it will. Uh, put a, those items coming into that side on a different row, okay? Now this bottom row is kind of special, uh, as I understand it. If you use items that that are not um, actually uh, uh, consumed by the, uh, by the uh, recipe here, things like uh, if you were making panels, for example, so you might have diamond saws. Those, I believe... Um, and I, I saw this in a video that uh, Professor Lottie did. Um, in fact, I think it was her, one of her early ones. Um, uh, she ha I had a recipe that required her to make panels, and she, I believe she was making insulated cable with them. And so each time it made one of those, it would consume one of her diamond saws. And, it, and when it does that, it puts them down on this row. And that was ending up being a problem because that would fill up and then um, they get eventually get destroyed after a while, after it fills up. So she came up with a great trick to um, pull them out um, and run them through uh, a little alchemical chest with a, a little uh, talisman and repair in them. They would repair the, the, uh, the saws and then feed them back into the system. Very clever. Um, okay. So now you notice this retriever, because it's pulling, it's pulling in those energy crystals, does need to have a timer on it. Um, you don't need that on systems that have the retrievulator, because the retrievulator will always just pulse the retriever whenever it needs an item. Okay. So on finally to the final step here, our high voltage solar array. And uh, you notice I've got this on a timer because, once again, we have just a retriever because the only goal of this guy is to just pull out one high voltage solar array at a time. And uh, so this t timer is running fairly slow. I have it running once a minute. 
and um, you know, it's, it's got another one ready to go there, so uh, as soon as this timer ticks off again, it will pull the second high voltage solar up there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut things off now. Shut that off. And, uh, I'll leave that on. That doesn't really need to be turned off. Once the timer's turned off, it, uh, it won't be pulling things out anymore. Okay. So that is a high voltage solar panel factory. Um, these are really, I mean, if you want to make a lot of high voltage solar panel, uh, solar arrays, these are really absolutely necessary. You, you can't um, possibly, <laughs> I mean, imagine going through on your little project tables, building 512 uh, uh, low voltage uh, panels to uh, build one of these. And if you need more than one, like say four, <laughs> it already becomes a really untenable task. And so, uh, and plus the huge amount of resources it takes. I, I leave this running for a while, and even though I've got all those condensers back there, it uh, it sucks that stuff down pretty quickly. And so I don't uh, I don't recommend trying to do this manually. And this was a, a whole lot of fun to build, if you are that sort of person like I am. So. Um, I highly recommend trying something out like this. Um, I would go to Professor Lockheed's videos, and uh, I also learned a lot with uh, Tech It with Duncan. Um, those are great videos, and uh, plus they're just funny folks and lots of them. So I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, give it a try. And uh, love to hear from you, see how it went. Thank you very much.